Morning guys, welcome to tutorial number five, I think it is. Um, somebody asked me if I could do a dot work brush, so I'm gonna show you how to do one of those today, hopefully. Um, I've got this cool little background from a lad called Wet Your Jaws, so check him out on Instagram. He's doing some cool little backgrounds for your phone and your iPad. Um, but yeah, let's go into Procreate. Um, we wanna open up a square canvas like we've got here. Uh, first thing you're gonna do is open up the hard airbrush um, what I'm going to do this time, I usually have the streamline on full, I'm going to take it down to zero, um, just press done there. So what you want to do, get the level up about halfway, depending on how big you want your dots, you can obviously do it tiny or huge, but I'm keeping it about halfway, you can experiment with it. Um, and what you want to do is you just basically want to do a few dots randomly on the canvas you don't want to do too many otherwise when you actually start using the brush it's going to be super busy and condensed and it won't really look too soft depending on what kind of outlook you want to come um let's go with that one so we'll just go with that one so if we come up into the corner and then go into the add action and copy canvas come back down into your brush and come on to a new brush uh, you want to click the shape button and then edit and it's the same as we've been doing in the other previous uh, tutorials import and then paste and then two finger tap to invert it and then press done so that is your brush um, I changed the rotation so it's 100% I also on this one change the scatter so as much as possible if I clear this little drawing pad here I'm just going to draw and I'll tell you what let me just make this a little bit bigger if I come down into the properties get the maximum size up to about 300 so then back onto the drawing pad um, if we draw what looks like your little dot work brush come back into the shape and then the scatter if you watch what happens it just messes them all up a little bit more so they're not as kind of regimented that's with no scatter and that's with full scatter so yeah turn the scatter up um properties um you want to take the orient to screen off and then apple pencil properties so I usually have this up at full. If you can see the beginning of the brush there, it's quite light. If you bring that down, it makes it darker. But for this, I'm going to keep the opacity all the way up at the top. So that way, when you start using the brush, um, it's a lot lighter. And then the more pressure you put on it, the darker it'll become. So let's just press done on that and I can show you what it looks like. Let's get a new layer up. And there we go, I've got the brush on. Turn that up a little. And there you go, we have a dot work brush. So, one thing you can do, um, back to the kind of circle tutorial that I did the other day, um, if we just draw a circle like so, hold it and snap that into place. You want to come up here to your selection tool and then down at the bottom if you go to automatic and then just click inside the circle and then come up to a new layer you can hide this other one with the actual outline of the circle and then come over to your brush and then you want to highlight the dot work brush and then wherever you kind of draw it'll stay within that circle so you can kind of do a bit of a cool little 3d ball shape if you see what i mean the harder you push at the bottom the darker it is and then the softer you push the lighter the dots so yeah there you go that's one kind of example of how you could use this dot work brush yeah hope you find that one Interesting, hope there was a decent tutorial to follow. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna to be doing a kind of snake scales tutorial and also the underbelly of it as well. So 
I know they're a bit of a bitch to actually draw and tattoo, so it'll take a lot of time out of actually drawing it. But um, yeah, let me know what you thought about this tutorial. Um, any questions, comments, drop them below and I'll get back to you. Cheers, guys. Have a good day.